Can you talk Give me like... two red balls, please, mate. All right, mate. All right. What is it, your birthday? Who's this twat? Here's to all my homies that didn't sell. Could you tell Di Richards that Aaron uses here? Who's he? Uh, he's a manager. No, he's a pod leader. I think that's what he is. Short guy, dark hair. Don't you steal nothing. Good. You uh, back in songs for good then? Yeah, I guess so. You guess so? You better be, boy, because I got you the shop. And let me tell you something. A shark like you, you're gonna make a fortune. Well, I certainly hope so. How much do you reckon I earn a week? Let me see. 960 bucks. A mass take home. Look, I spoke to my boss. I told him, I said, Rob, this boy, he's a shark. He's gonna make us a lot of money. And do you know what he said? He said, die. I trust you. I respect your judgment. Put your pal straight on the blues. Look, you worried about the details, right? We sell mobile phones, but the truth of the matter is we could be selling shit in a box for all the difference it makes. In telesales, they don't buy the product. They buy you. I tell you what, why don't I try and sell you one? Hello, is that Shark Boy? Yes. Hi, this is Di calling from Phone Kings. How are you today? Good. Have you got a mobile phone? Nope. Why not? Don't know. They're too expensive. Well, buddy, I'm about to brighten up your day. And I'll give you a free phone worth 200 quid, and I'll give you 200 minutes of free calls every single month, and I'm going to put you onto the largest network in Britain. Now, how much is all this going to cost you? I'm going to give it to you for nine pounds a month. No contract, no obligation, no harm, no foul. How's that sound? Good. Since I've known you a little while, I'll break the rules a little bit and I'll give you 30 quid's worth of free accessories as well. How about that? That's very generous of you. Great. Which credit card would you like to use? Aaron, which credit card would you like to use? Look, mate. I got you this job. I've just spent the last ten minutes wasting time to run through all this with you. Make sure you don't make a fool of yourself. Die. I'm giving you a free phone, and I'm giving you 30 quid's worth of free accessories, which I shouldn't be doing, by the way. I've given you a job. Die, I, I really don't want this phone. All I'm saying is, let it get up your credit card. You got some nerve. I go out my way to try and help you. Give an old friend an helping hand. And all I get is you standing there treating me like some kind of wanker. You understand? I need this sale. Yeah. And that's how it's done. Use anything you can, keep at them until they give their card number. Now it's all right, mate, you can put it away now. So, why are you wearing a dress? Uh, we did meet our sales target last month, so the floor manager got all his pod managers to dress like women. One day I'm gonna get a knife and stick it right in his eye. You're gonna love it. I'm not insulting you, sir. I'm just pointing out a fact. Well, well, Mr. Patel. Let's try again, shall we? Pay as you go. They are rip-off merchants, Mr. Patel. They will rob you blind. 
They will murder you in your sleep. No, you can't ring me back. All we need is your permission to use your photograph on our TV ads. That's right, national television and all cable channels too. You're scared of your wife. She's obviously the man of the house, otherwise why would you have to speak to her first? Your sister's only problem is she hasn't got a credit card. That's why she told me to ring you, so as we can get your card number and send the phone on to her. A fool and his money are soon parted. Now, are you a fool? Then take our free phone. If you're not a fool, get your card out. All I need is the long number that runs across your credit card. Does she beat you, circus? Hello? Hello? Really? She told you I was a lion scumbag. I see. Visa, MasterCard, the other switch. That's it, my friend. Now, what's the long number that runs right across it? Certainly, I'll hold the line while you go and get it. Good for you. I'll have the three phones sent out to you by the end of the week. Sucker. You got a bully pack, easy, see? Hussein Patel Sars. You get a name like that, fucking push him like fuck. They love it. They respond to it. It's part of their culture. Everybody, off the phone and pay attention. I'll start with the good news. You lot made twice as many sales as the animals downstairs. We sold 1,500 phones last week. All the downstairs made only 680. So give yourselves a clap. <laughs> now the bad news. No more multiple deals to blacks or Indians. I'm sorry, H, they're too much trouble. Phones always go missing with them, and they're always trying to cancel. So if you speak to a brother, it's one phone per household. Right, there's plenty of work here. Everybody straight into it. A hundred deals and we can go. Listen, Jay, I've got a little bit of a problem. What is it, Bomber? I got a guy over here, he wants two phones. One for himself, one for his wife. Problem is, he's only got one card. Can I put it through? Is he black? I don't know. Ask him what music he likes. You ask him. Give him one and tell him that's all we got left in stock. Have you sold? No. Two phone deals to packies. That's racist, isn't it? Yes, it is. Too fucking right it is. Niggas make up most of our business. Who's to say you can't have two phones just because of the colour of your skin? The thing is, British Asians have got their own businesses. They work hard. Doctors, lawyers... I mean, don't get me wrong, I can't fucking stand packies. If it was up to me, I'd gas them all. I'd stuff them in the ovens. But that doesn't mean we can't sell them two phones. Does it? Does it? Mrs. Whitelaw, I've been trying to get you all morning. Jesus, 803, look at the arse on that. How old do you reckon she is? Who cares? If there's grass on the pitch, I say, let's play ball. No, 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 Mrs. No, no, thank you for wasting my time, you silly cow. Don't ever take any shit off them either. Don't you ever get any people complaining about you? Nah, who cares? Anyway, I never give them my real name, so who are they going to complain about? If you don't sell in the next hour, you'll get another one. If you don't sell the hour after that, We'll send you home. Do you understand? You've won a competition. Yes. Out of a thousand people, we selected you. 
We chose you out of all those people to win our free phone. Now, Mr. Ogunlade, do you have a MasterCard? All we need is your permission to use your photograph and our TV ads. How about a, a Delta or a Switch? All I need is a long number that runs across your credit card. How about a Visa card? Well, if you haven't got a Visa, then you shouldn't be in my country, should you? <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Certainly I'll hold the line while you go. Hi there, is that Mrs. Shaw? My name's Aaron, and I'm calling from Phone Place. Listen, would you mind if I call you for the first time? Did you sell her? Did you sell her? Yes! Come on! Buds! Shark Boy's got one for you. 99 deals and we can go. Just 99 deals and we can all go home.